Hello, this is Leisha Breen with Journey to Greatness, 365 days to your best year yet. And today is a reminder. It's a reminder for you to treat yourself with kindness, to treat yourself with kindness and generosity. How many times do we go through our day making sure that we're courteous and loving and generous with others, and yet we don't offer that same menu of goodness to ourselves. The golden rule tells us to not do unto others what we would not do to ourselves. This assumes that we treat ourselves well, which, as I've already stated, is not always the case. We are often less forgiving less generous to ourselves than we are to other people. Why is it then that so often we treat ourselves worse than we do others? Why? Why do we why do we not chastise our friends each time their performance is less than perfect or they make a mistake or be harsh on our children whenever they make a mistake? Rather think about it. We do what we can do to comfort them and support them and give them hope about not getting themselves into trouble in the future or making a mistake. We support them. We can bring the same capacity for compassion to our relationship within ourselves. And think about this for a minute. It's when we truly love and respect ourselves. I'm going back to my old theme that everything starts by loving yourself first. Not in a narcissistic way, not in an arrogant way, but in a way where we're nurturing our, our soil so that the seeds that we're planting, these new rituals, these new ways of being, can grow and flourish. We have to treat ourselves with kindness and generosity. That's one of those principles that you have to adopt so that you can truly love yourself and give yourself room to grow. If you don't treat yourself with this kindness and generosity, then you'll be beating yourself up. You'll be allowing the negative self-talk to take over. And in no time at all, you'll be believing lies about who and what you are. Today's message is short. I have a lot going on in the next 72 hours. The list is too long to share with you. But I'm taking it all in stride day by day. I'm loving myself with each one of the opportunities that are facing me. With that said, I'm using meditation to calm the mind. I'm using exercise to get rid of any of the stress. And I'm controlling my mindset so that I'm not allowing fear to slip in so that I can maintain my balance, my equanimity. I'm being kind and generous with myself. I'm not prejudging the future, nor am I looking at the past. I'm staying right in the present and working on what I can be, the best be I can be in this interesting 72-hour period. You too have found yourself in these situations where everything And the kitchen sink is being thrown at you at once. And I'm taking the next 72 hours as an exercise to my future. A sort of test that if I can handle all of this with peace of mind, with mental balance, with mental control, being aware in the moment and doing my very best that I can in the moment and not judging myself, not allowing negative self-talk to take over, being kind if I make a mistake, but truly giving my best and getting out of my own way, that if I maintain all of that and stay positive and in the here and now, this is a test to help me grow for the next step in my life. Be kind and generous to yourself today. Start building that capacity within yourself. Give yourself room to grow and develop. 
And that's the only way it's going to happen is if you give yourself the room to make the mistakes and to grow from them and not beat yourself up. Love yourself. Let's get into our mindfulness meditation. Today's meditation is called Hot Air Balloon Reflection. So as always, sit up in a dignified fashion because you are a dignified, extraordinary human human being. And let's get to it. Today we are going to imagine that we are riding in a hot air balloon. As we begin, I want you to close your eyes and we're going to take three deep breaths in through our nose and then we're going to release through our mouth. So let's start. Deep breath in and out through the mouth. Deep breath in and out through your mouth. Deep breath in and out through your mouth. Continue to breathe as you think about what it would be like to ride in a hot air balloon. Think about what colors your balloon would be. Would there be any designs on the balloon? Now as you rise up through the sky... Think about what it feels like. Is the air warm or is it cool? Is it windy or is it calm? Now notice everything that you can see from your hotter balloon. Can you see houses? Can you see trees? Can you see any bodies of water? Can you see lakes? Can you see the ocean? Can you see people? What do these things look like? Are they small or are they normal sized? Try to notice everything that you can see in your mind's eye. Think about where you are going and how you will feel when you get there. Try to really focus on that feeling and notice how it feels. When you are finished, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And now you can slowly open your eyes. You know, in that hot air balloon, we can visualize going up into the sky and then the journey ahead. And we can see ourselves literally landing in a place of our choice. We can do that every morning. And it's not about a hot air balloon that I speak of. It's about how we want our day to be. How we imagine that day to resolve itself at the end of the day. Instead of just walking in blindly... We can do an exercise very similar to this hot air balloon reflection and literally see ourselves going through the day successfully and then feeling the joy that can be derived from all the efforts made throughout that day and the successes that will be had by experiencing them in the here and now, just in our imagination. Because remember, thoughts are things. If you're a person who truly loves yourself, you're going to be kind and generous to yourself. And you're going to start your day out seeing yourself successful at the end of the day. Seeing yourself, visualizing yourself going through those patterns, going through your routines, going through your projects, going through your interactions with people on a positive note. 
so that at the end of the day, you've lived that experience in, experience in this 3D world. That hot air balloon can be a balloon, a, a day re- substituted for the day you're going to have ahead, the week you're going to have ahead, the month you're going to have ahead. It's a beautiful exercise to bring things to fruition. Be bold, be brave, and always, always be your authentic self.